I was watching a chatbot create a PRD. And not just any PRD, but a well-written and strategically sound PRD. And I thought to myself, this is big. What's up everyone, Elisa here, and in this channel I talk about all things product, tech, career, and life. If any of that's interesting to you, I highly recommend you subscribe. Now let's just dive into today's video because today's video is, well, I'm still surprised by today's video. Let me give you some backstory. I was learning about different AI technologies when I stumbled across one that made me question my entire future as a product person. This piece of technology is so incredibly valuable for product managers, but it also does make you think, what is product management going to look like in the future? Because it's definitely gonna shift. So I'm going to start by telling you what the AI product is, my experience with it, and my reaction to how this is going to transform product management going forward. So let's start with what the product actually is. Now, this product is called Chat PRD, and as you might be able to guess from the name, it is a tool that helps product managers create PRDs, which stands for Product Requirements Documents. Now, some companies call these BRDs, business requirements documents, or product briefs, but regardless what the company calls them, these are strategic documents that product managers write. Often before a product feature goes into development, a product manager will write a PRD that outlines all the rationale and context about why they're building a certain feature, and they'll generally use this document to share with everyone across the company, and it will be a document to help justify their pitch to executives on why they want to build a certain feature. These documents can take a long time for product managers to write, not because they have to be incredibly long, but because they are very strategic. And these documents also have a lot of visibility. So back to Chat PRD. This is a product developed by Claire Vo, who is a CPO at LaunchDarkly and is a seemingly very cool person and mom which I love. From what I can tell, this is still a very scrappy startup and it might even just be Claire Vo building this product on her own with no team. I don't even see it mentioned on her LinkedIn profile and I don't see Chat PRD as a company that shows up on LinkedIn. But don't let this small startup trick you into thinking this isn't going to be something big. So let me show you what the product actually does. So I went to Chat PRD's website and clicked the option to see it in action, which directs you to a Loom video by Claire Vo who shows you how Chat PRD works. And the results Claire gets in that demo are really good, but if you've worked in tech long enough, you know that product demos can hide a lot of things and can make questionable products look really good, especially in recorded demos. So me and my skepticism, we went back to the website to actually try out this product. You can try it out for free and then can upgrade to a subscription, which is only $3 per month, which is more than reasonable. So I tested it out for free and gave it a prompt. Now, Chat PRD can edit existing PRDs, help you brainstorm features, or give you writing advice. But I wanted to test out its ability to generate a new PRD. So my prompt was that I am working at Microsoft Teams and I wanted to create a feature to help teams brainstorm more effectively without having to rely on collaboration products like FigJam, which requires people to have additional seats in FigJam and also means that a lot of people are watching a screen share on one monitor and are actually participating in the FigJam in another monitor, which is kind of a nuisance. And mind you, I have no relation to Microsoft Teams or Figma. This was just a hypothetical product idea. So I wrote down this prompt and the results blew my mind. It was a great PRD that was very concise, had some really smart considerations, and was well written to the point where I would not have guessed that this was a chatbot that wrote it, which is incredibly impressive. I mean, if you saw my last video where I used ChatGPT to generate a resume and cover letter, you'll see how ridiculous some chatbot language can sound. In steering multifaceted product ecosystems to success within the dynamic world of creative tech, but this was, 
weirdly human sounding. It started with a TLDR at the top, then listed out goals and non-goals. It then listed out user stories, which were a little bit more like epic stories, but still pretty good, and then explained the user experience, a marketing narrative, and defined success metrics. It also had technical considerations, which were great, and a milestone and sequencing section. Everything was so good. Of course, as a PM, I would want to make some edits and beef up some of the sections, but overall, it was a great first iteration of a PRD. And then I wanted to test out its ability to iterate and add on to the PRD based on my prompts. So I asked Chat PRD to generate some ideas for different pricing options for this type of a feature. It listed out five different pricing strategies, which were all spot on, including adding it to the subscription, creating a freemium model, making it an add-on option, a pay-per-use option, and an enterprise licensing option. And for each of those, it had a description, rationale, and considerations. And as a cherry on top, it ended with providing me with next steps that I should take, which were frankly spot on. It recommended doing a market analysis, user research, and financial modeling, all of which are the right next steps. It knew. So I'm not gonna lie, when I finished testing this product, I turned off my computer and had to go for a walk because it was a lot to process. Suddenly, I was seeing a chatbot do something that really good product managers do. So inevitably, I started thinking to myself, what does this mean? So once I had time to process my thoughts, I realized this means two things for the product world. The first thing is that product managers should start using this product. I can't think of a reason not to use this product aside from possibly security. I'm not exactly sure how this product shares its data, so if you are giving prompts that might have some sensitive information in there, maybe that would be a concern. Aside from security, I can't think of a good reason not to use this product. The PMs who are going to thrive with AI are the ones who embrace it. If you are not using this tool to draft a PRD, you are wasting your time. Of course, you'll still need to edit and revise the PRD, but this product will save you at a minimum an hour of writing your PRD. So if you're not using this technology and everyone else is, you will fall behind or you'll be working extra hours that you don't have to. I think the PMs who adopt it right now will be at the forefront, but I do think eventually everyone will start using stuff like this. And I think eventually the expectation for PMs is that they can create these types of documents quickly because now they have the tools to help them generate it. I would also advise any product leaders and product ops leaders to purchase a product like this or maybe this exact product for your teams. If each PM saves at minimum one hour per PRD, you're saving a lot of money because when you break down a PM's salary, they cost kind of a lot per hour and they could be using that hour to do more strategic and impactful things. But then we get to the question. The real question, will AI replace PMs with this type of technology? And my honest assessment is no. PMs still need to come up with that initial idea to generate a PRD. They need to be able to ingest the company objectives and the market problems and think of creative ideas to solve those problems that are valuable to customers, but also viable for the company. I think in the future, PMs will spend a lot less time writing documents like PRDs, writing user stories, filing bugs, and writing release notes. And we'll have to spend a lot more time doing strategic thinking and collaborating across a lot of different teams. That's where PMs will start spending more of their time, and honestly, I think we should be excited about that. So that's all I have about Chat PRD. My strong recommendation is to use this product to draft all of your PRDs going forward. Just double check that from a security standpoint, it's cool with your company. And do I recommend you use it and don't make any edits? Of course not. But this will create a foundational PRD that you can edit and revise and build on top of. So there you have it. There's my spiel on Chat PRD. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out the product itself. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you wanna hear more, please subscribe. Also check out my Instagram and feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one call if you wanna talk product, career, or interviews. That's a wrap, my friends. Thank you so much and I will talk to you next time. 
bye ah oh, i still am like mind blown about this i just want to write more prds right now <laughs>